they have parents or family members that will give them like donate to them to buy a house and i'm not saying like a little a little a little bit of money i'm talking about ten thousand eighty thousand twenty thousand dollars for a down payment on the house I walk up like this. Hello everyone, I am Cerebral and this is Cerebral Talks TV. I thank you so much for joining me. I want to share this video with you that I stumbled on where this woman said talking to white people will expose the wealth gap. Some of you might not understand what the wealth gap is. That is basically the difference on between white families and black families, how a number of white families tend to be more well off financially their children not struggling as much, money being passed on from family members, your mother or father, your extended family, okay? Not always struggling as much. And it's not all because of slavery, which is a factor, but it's also, we see this with immigrant families all the time. Other people of color, as they say, also who pass things down, saving up money, putting money together, Okay, you don't have to be rich in order to try to pass something on or to help your children out with in life so that they don't have it as hard as you to to help them financially. So she was talking to someone and she said it just exposes this uh this wealth gap, the difference between your families and their finances versus theirs. Okay, now again, it is true that during slavery, there were a lot of businesses that formed, which helped a lot of families. They had properties and passing that down to members throughout the family for generations and companies started and having a head start. That is a true and real thing, but also it's a mentality issue too. It just is because today in 2024 and years ago, you could easily fix that problem if your mindset is about helping your children or a family member and changing that, changing that with what you do have, okay? And people are gonna bring up stuff. The truth is, is that not all families can practice. Gener it just doesn't work for all families. A lot of black people do not have normal or, or families that operate like you feel a family should, a good portion, a good portion. You have family members who treat you like someone off the street, who don't give one damn about you, who you can't, I, I don't get too personal, but I don't come from a family like other people. And reading comments on here, I realized, okay, I'm not alone in that. You know, having family members where it's like you're a dog, they don't love you. They don't like you. They won't give you a damn thing. You can't ask for nothing. I've never asked for anything. And I know that I couldn't ask for anything from majority. Okay. And it would be great to see families be able to help build and stuff, but the relationships have to be there. And a lot of black people come from broken family relationships. I'm talking, it's like y'all not even related or something. Or the only time they call you ever in life is when they want money. But other than that, they don't call you. They never showed up in your life, didn't come to your birthday parties, never gave you a birthday present. Don't give two craps about you. You're like someone off the street, someone off the street. And it's a shame. I have one relative and I use that word loosely where I just asked for help hanging up a curtain in the bathroom that I couldn't reach. And he told me, oh, why don't you get that N word that you're dating to help you? And it was said real nasty, like I was nothing but a B off the street. Like I'm not even related to him. That's the type of stuff. And I'm not going to say too much more. And I'm sad to say this is not uncommon as I thought with a number of black families. And for some black people, they can't relate. Something I said recently, this woman said, well, I don't come from a family like that. Well, I'm sorry. Some of us do. Some of us come from family pe pe members that don't even treat you like a family. They don't even like you or actually love you. Give one damn about you at all throughout your whole damn life at large. Don't even know you don't want to know you and, and, and a steal from you and just trifling all types of different stuff going on in people, families. And it's sad. It's sad. Black women, especially, we are thrown to the wind. We are a thrown to the wind group of women, meaning we have to go out and we have to be like a man and we don't even want to. 
thrown to the wind. Figure it out yourself. Don't know what you're doing. Don't always know what to do. A lot of us, it's true, we don't always have financial literacy, knowing about credit and these loans and all this type of stuff. And your parents didn't know, your grandparents didn't know, but thank goodness there's TikTok and YouTube where people do share information to try to help you understand things that you don't understand, as people say, to end the generational curse, as they say. And, you know, people, you wonder, you know, it seems like white people or children don't seem to suffer. They have on Abercrombie and Fitch and you don't hear about them always suffering a lot. But there are a lot of white people who do suffer in this country who are poor, but there are a number who can easily call up a, a family member and they help them out if they if they need something because they actually operate and like each other usually as family members. They're actual family, not just some some like stranger calling you type of thing. Those type of things. So I'm gonna be quiet. I'm going to play this video clip and then I'm going to share with you the comments left under the video that you just, I'm going to read it to you and you're just going to be like, this is just what? So listen to this. I saw this video of this girl basically saying that when you talk to white people, it will expose the wealth gap. Let me tell you, I remember I was working this job, right? And this girl was saying how it was something about her house. So she had to get something fixed or something done or whatever. And I don't know, I, at the time I was doing real estate and working. So I asked her, I was asking her questions about her house. And she was, she said her mom, mind y'all, this is a good community, top rated schools. She said her mom gave her the house. Ain't no mortgage on the house. She don't have to pay no mortgage. She paid, she paid the property taxes. Her mama <laughs> gave her the house. These motherfuckers bills in my name then like when i was doing real estate a lot of like non-black people it ain't just white people like black non-black people period they have parents or family members that will give them like donate to them to buy a house and i'm not saying like a little a little a little bit of money i'm talking about ten thousand eighty thousand twenty thousand dollars for a down payment on the house <sighs> I, I i swear to god i want to cry think about it Okay, so hearing her say when she worked in real estate, they're being gifted ten, twenty, fifty, eighty thousand dollars for a house. That is something that a lot of black people just cannot fathom. That is just not a lot of black people's reality in America. Even if the money is there, a number of black family members do not gift their children or their relatives that type of money to be able to get a house. They will tell you, you better go out and get it your damn self. Who you think I am? Oh, you think you going to use me? I ain't got it. And then they'll call the other family members. You ain't going to believe who asked me for such and such money to get a house. I'm talking if they actually do talk to each other. I'm not talking about a broken family where y'all don't even know each other like that. I'm talking about people that actually still, they have Sunday dinners and, and barbecues and call each other and, and like family and all that type of stuff and still operate like that. So I'm going to be quiet real quick and I'm going to, well, I'm not going to be quiet. I'm going to, I'm going to show you the comments left under her video. Let me show you this. I cannot wait to hear your comments in the below in the comment section with everything I'm going to show you. Okay, let's get into these comments. For this reason, I'm never going to stop teaching about life insurance. It's a game changer. Most black families are in competition with each other, especially mothers and daughters and fathers and sons. So our family will let us get it out the mud before they leave us anything. I just don't find it normal at all for a mother to be in competition with her own daughter and a father with son. That's just weird to me. That's a mental illness. Why would you have children just to treat them like somebody off the street? Why would you have children and try to to not help them and have their life be harder or say, well, I don't have to help you. I understand people will say, well, it builds character. Yeah, I understand you have to learn certain things on your own because if your parent is not there, what are you going to do? And you have to know how to survive. But why would you do things to make your child's life harder? And then you'll complain because the black people do this. You complain about white people having more, but yet you didn't feel any need to help your own children out to have something more in life. It's disgusting if a family member treats you like somebody off the street. It's horrible and I've seen this and experienced this. Okay, um, not, not, um, not from my mother or my late father, but just different, different 
people type of thing. Okay. So let's see, you know how much more it, better it would be if you have a, a life, if you have marriage, this is coming from someone who grew up in a single parent home. Most of my childhood, I don't fully agree. I understand that having a marriage and a two parent home helps financially. There's more money coming in. But I said before, you can have two black people marry, but if both of their mentalities is ignorant, then you're effed. You're still effed as a child. You have ignorant parents. Okay, your parents are together, but do they have something for you? Do they have a trust for you? Are they saving up for you for to have a car? Are they teaching you things together? Or do they just live together and say they're married, but they're not teaching you or doing a damn thing for you? So it goes beyond just the fact, oh, they're married. It's a mentality. It's a mentality issue, okay? Black people love materialism entirely too much to build wealth. That is true too. The shaming you get, the shaming you get for shopping at a thrift store. This has happened to me. Oh, she, she, she goes to a thrift store and then they'll try to crack on you as if that's the only place you shop at. I remember right here on my channel, I'm a rainbow affiliate, which I still am. And then I got clown for that. Oh, she's promoting rainbow. So what? I'm making money. I shop some things from there and that doesn't mean that's all of where I shop, but why would you clown someone who knows how to save their money, get things they want at a lower price and have money left over for the things that they want? Isn't that just smart? I don't feel the need to flex my finances or if I have money, I have Gucci, I have this. I don't have to flex that. I can have all of that and you still wouldn't know. I don't walk in the room announcing stuff like I have low self-esteem about oh, what I could buy or what I bought. I feel like if you're a person that is conceited, you love to throw in people's faces what you have, you think you're better, but if you don't own your own home, I'm not impressed, okay? I'm not impressed with that. You cannot brag to me that you are all that. I'm talking about a certain personality where you are all that. I'm better than you. Well, I got this and that. But yet you don't even own where you live. You still paying rent and you could afford to buy a home so that you never have to worry again in life. You have somewhere to rest your head. You know, that's just me. I know everyone's situation can be different as to why they don't have a home. But if you are a well-off person and making big money, and you thrown in people's faces, I got this, I wear this, I got it like that, but yet you still live in an apartment. I mean, it depends on the situation, but I'm saying if you live somewhere where you could buy a home and you are so rich, I don't even take that, that serious when I, when I see that type of stuff. Okay, so let's get into the next thing. Why? Okay. We can't even talk like this because we're still trying to convince majority of black people that education and marriage matters. Yeah. I think I'm going to pull up that, that chart that I showed about showing what ethnicity in America makes the most money at the top is not white people is Indians, which is Asian and other Asians. Asians was at the very top, all different ethnicities, then white, then Hispanic, um, being black or black American, African American was at the very bottom of the list. Uh, I know that Nigerian who are first or second generation Africans tend to do very well making money, but at the top in America are basically Asian people in this country. And, um, a lot of black men are always telling black men to get a CDL, which is not bad, not bad. You can make money doing that or being a bus driver, which you can still make money at, but y'all can't all fill up these jobs, right? Or get, get, being a plumber or a welder. It's nothing wrong with that, but that not that should not be what majority of you are trying to strive for. You, we need y'all to push being doctors and lawyers and business consultants, tech CEOs, which a lot of Indians dominate, bringing in the money so that you can actually have money in communities you live in. Your women can depend on you and live in a nice home, a two-story, three-story home. Your children not struggling. Your children having access and going to better schools with better teachers, with better equipment. 
All of that ties into having money. When people say money doesn't matter, they are full of crap. The whole world and society you live on is based off of the money you make in. The type of health care you get is based off your money. When you have money, you can afford and get the better doctors, the better medicine, better appointments. All this stuff changes when you have more money. And I don't know where the hell black people got this mentality from, especially being that uh, we historically come from poverty. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. Now you can be poor and say, you know what, we're going to make the best of what we have. We can shop, uh, within our means and still have stuff go right on eBay, go on Poshmark. Okay. All that stuff will, you know, we can make things work and the money I do have, we can put it in the bank for our child every month, give what we can and, and figure out how to make it grow you know, th th that's what you can do. Okay. Someone said, I went to school with kids who were gifted houses and apartments on campus. So they did not have to live in dorms. A lot of black people, we don't know nothing about that. I remember watching the real housewives of New Jersey and Melissa Gorga and Joe Gorga. He's in construction. He builds houses. He has a lot of money building houses and he has apartment buildings. And in one episode, they already said, oh, this is going to our children, these apartments. So their children are not even, well, one of them, I think turned 18, but at 18, you already have an apartment building, which you can rent out and you will always be well off. That's what they did for their children. They didn't just build the money and then not make sure their kids are good when they turn into adults. Okay, my white best friend had several had several family members put in over $10,000 to buy a house. Child, me and my mom are still arguing over $20. Is, is this why the realtors are always asking me? Do I have any family members that can gift me a down payment? Because I'm always thinking whose family is giving them and gifting them thousands of dollars for a house where apparent, well, apparently this ha this is happening with a lot of uh, white and non-black other race, other groups, uh, families who do this and his, in his world, he's like, what family member giving me thousands of dollars for a house? Is this real? Does this really happen? My goodness. A lot of black people want their children to get it out the mud. What sucks is my parents are well off black people and they still won't give me anything. Some kids have bad credit coming out of high school because their mom and dad put the bill in their name and didn't pay the bill. That is absolutely horrendous to do that to your own child. I am a licensed life insurance agent and I keep trying to explain this to people. Uh, but it's like talking to a brick wall. Life insur insurance is the cornerstone of generational wealth. All right. I'm saving up for my son. $100 from my paycheck monthly. When he's 21, he'll have over $25,000. It's in a, y a, H -Y -S a H Y S A. Okay. My wife and I started with nothing. He'll have something and know the value of the dollar. I agree, but to an extent, my family had had a paid off house that we chose to sell and my family member gave their child $10,000 for a house too. So I guess it depends on your life or something. They didn't continue. Okay. The homes that our families do own, they will not give it to us while they are alive. Instead, they leave it to us when they pass away and it comes with all kinds of problems they leave us to deal with. My grandparents bought every last one of their kids, their first house, six in total. And all the grandkids got our first house as well, which mine still have. This is a blessing I don't take for granted since I was 19. My boyfriend is white and his parents have a house and he still thinks he's poor. They have a house and a vacation home and he still thinks he's poor. My family doesn't even have a house. Well, this is how it is in life. Someone in a third world country thinks that black people, we are rich. They're like, you're complaining about living in the projects in an, in an apartment. Y'all have two or three bedrooms. We're living in a shack in our country. You people are rich. What is your problem? We wish we had what you had. And then for us, you know, people who live in an apartment or the projects or something, 
You're like, oh my goodness, that person in the two or three bedroom home are bigger. They're rich. And they're thinking, yeah, those are broke, poor people right there. Those black people living like that. Look at what we have. And then someone way richer than them is looking down on them. So you see the different levels of everything. Amazing. All right. My old coworker cried because her mom was only giving her $75,000 for a wedding because the mom wanted to have money left over to help them buy a house. I found out that white people don't do limos when, the, when there's a funeral. They're like, why would you spend all that extra money when you can just drive yourself? I was like, you know what? You're right. I have a life insurance policy on my husband, my two kids, my adult kids, one grandson and two uncles. My 23 year old coworkers parents donated $50,000 for her house to be built. She was making $15 an hour and had an $800,000 home built for her brand new. Oh my goodness. My goodness gracious. I asked my mom, I asked my mom if her kids could take out a life insurance policy on her to ensure we wouldn't have to carry the financial burden. My mother looked at me and said, no, you will not come up off of me. I repeat, her own mother told her that if she passes away and y'all want life insurance on me, no. You won't come up off of me when I pass away. Do you see how sick and deranged this is? What kind of mother doesn't understand that's the point of life insurance to help us when something happens to you, to be able to bury you, to make sure that the family is good. No, you ain't coming up off of me. This is disgusting. Why give birth and have children with this mentality? What is wrong with some people like this? Okay, this woman says, honey, she will be left at the county buried with an unmarked box if that was my mom. Woman in finance here, you don't need her permission. You can take out a life insurance policy on her. Be the payer and the beneficiary. All you need to prove is insurable interest. Now, I had never heard of this. If any of you know what this is, you can let us know in the comment section. What is insurable interest? Okay. Someone said, I told my mom she's going to get cremated. She said, no, I'm not. I said, so where's the insurance policy? You talking about you want to be buried. It costs money for a funeral. Where's the insurance policy so that we can give you a proper funeral? If not, I'm sorry. She got to get cremated. Because if they ain't got money, you ain't got money. What, what, what are y'all going to do? Open an insurance policy for your kids as soon as they get a social security number. Invest $200 to $400 a month. Your child will have $50,000 plus tax-free. My great-grandmama did it for me. I repeat, open an insurance policy for your kid as soon as your child, as soon as they get a social security number. Invest 200 to 400 a month, depending on the company, your child will have $50,000 plus tax-free. This is why people say they want, their, they want to leave a legacy. I know, I know they don't know what that really means, leaving a legacy. Lineage is a better term. We don't use group economics, other groups who live together. Okay, hold on. We don't use group economics. Other groups will live together so they can save money and buy assets instead of focusing on being independent and in debt. You know what I feel? I totally support it. But as far as family, black families cannot all live together. It can't. We, it, we No. Some are of the families are so broken, we can't do it. We would have, we would have to call the popo. Physical fights and all of that. People stealing from you. No, I, I believe black people can do this with their friends. I know for a fact there are individual black family, fa friend groups, excuse me, who have done this already. It can work. Will it work for everybody? No, it won't. You know, speaking of the whole group economics thing, I told you that story of a guy I was talking to who was a, who was an immigrant, so cute, so good looking, so nice. And um, he was living in an apartment and he told me that, I mean, he was living with someone from a whole different ethnicity from him, but they were both immigrants. And he told me that this is what we do. He said, when we come here, we help each other. We'll get an apartment and we promise each other that when we get on our feet, that we'll do this for the next immigrant. And that's what he was doing. So 
That's another great example of helping. Okay, Mexican here. Me and my husband already have properties lined up for our three children. Speaking of businesses, generational wealth, and group economics, I want to share an amazing company with you again. This is blanket pancakes and syrup. Who does not love again pancake and waffles? Look at those. First of all, look at those pancakes, y'all. Look at those delicious looking pancakes. It looks like chocolate chip pancakes or maybe blueberry pancakes. Oh, look how fluffy it is. It looks so good. Oh my goodness. This company was started by this husband and wife team. It's called Blanket, Blanket Pancakes and Waffles. They have natural syrup natural delicious syrup i absolutely love to see it it comes in a variety of flavors you can get the buttermilk flavor the honey butter flavor the sweet potato flavor they even have the vegan pancake mix and it's just five dollars and 99 cent you can buy this on their website it was at walmart i saw that their products at walmart but i don't think it's at walmart any anymore so all you have to do is visit blanket P.S. Blanket P.S. Like the blanket you wrap yourself with. BlanketPS.com. They also have the original syrup, cinnamon flavor, and vanilla. I absolutely love to see this. So who doesn't love waffles? I mean, seriously, chicken and waffles is a famous combination. So I absolutely love it. And I'm sure that your family will love it. P blanket pancakes and syrup check out their website where you can make a purchase again just five dollars and 99 cents seriously that's an amazing price and i absolutely love to see this so much an amazing company right here so let's get back into these comments i bought two homes each for my children to have my hope is to have it paid off before i pass away if not my life insurance will pay it off completely i'm trying to stop be the start of generational wealth be sure to put it in a trust and not a will. There's also a type of insurance that is for that in case something happens to you. Yes, put it in a trust to avoid probates. Wills will have to go through the court system. Okay, so they're saying that if you're going to pass these homes down and stuff, don't put it in a will. Put it in a trust because trusts do not have to go to probate. Okay, let's see. It's not about white people. The majority of non-black people work as a family business. I'm a Haitian woman and I have three daughters. I own five properties and I'm passing it down to my girls. I know two African men who have three rental properties in a great neighborhood. I just found out the dad gave it to their sons for graduating college and told them to multiply it for their kids in the future. I'm college educated and I'm very successful at 24. I had a conversation with my family members about taking control of our lives and changing our stories. They looked at me like I had five heads. This happens a lot. I can give an example. Um, one of my family members was talking to someone and they were asking, does your daughter have children? And she shared, no, she wants to be married. And she said she looked at her like she was, she was crazy. Like, what do you mean? She wants to be married. What do you mean she wants to be married? This is not normal. Okay, I know I said, I try not to get too personal and stuff, but yeah, it was my mother at one of her jobs. And um, yeah, she told the woman, you know, my daughter wants to be married. And she looked at her, she told me, she looked at her like that wasn't normal that I would want to be married and have my children. You know, that's what we're dealing with here. But now that I'm older, I could deal with, I mean, I would prefer to be married, officially married. I said, if I, if I didn't, because things are not always perfect, I still want a contract. I want a contract drawn up of, of an allowance that me and the kids get, a will, everything like a marriage in a contract to avoid certain problems. If I were to ever set, you know, not, not officially get married, but I would prefer to be married. I would. Okay. Y'all put white people on some weird pedestal. 
They're not the top earners in America. I might show that chart at the end of this video. My 23 year old friend was gifted a four bedroom house by her parents. My mother passed away after I was born. She was responsible enough to get a $100,000 life insurance policy, but the beneficiary was my grandma. My grandma kept the money and didn't give it to none of her kids. That's disgusting. True, my old supervisor who is Mexican said her mother bought a house. Her mom moved out of one home to another and she had three houses and the supervisor moved into a new home and gave the old home to her son. Dog, okay. We have to rethink generational wealth. We may not have what others have, but you have to make it work, The mo what you have. Free childcare, the ability to live at home, etc. It all counts. It's because a lot of black people have the get out of, out of the mud mentality and we don't believe in handing our children anything. That's why we see so many kids kicked out at 18. This makes me think of that show I was watching on Bravo, uh, Family Karma with the Indian Americans and how Brian, who was extremely good looking, um, he works in tech. He makes really good money and he still lives with his parents, but he's saving the money. So when he gets married, he has all the money to buy the house. It's right there. He has enough. All of it's been saved where he can purchase this home for him and his family. Okay. So it's stuff like that. Um, in free child care, you have family members who would literally say, I'm not watching your children and black families. Okay, I feel like the difference is in cultures. In the West, a lot of black people have the get out of the mud mindset, while in the Caribbean, our culture, we pass down houses and land to our children and their kids. Okay. When I was 22, an 18 year old co worker asked me, Why did I still live with my parents? I was only making $8.50, but her dad had bought her a brand new trailer. We opened a bank account for our kids so they can put all the money that people gifted to them, you know, in the account. We put $25 to $50 each a month into their accounts. When my coworker told me he could afford his home because his parent-in-law gave his wife $100,000 as a gift uh, for their first home. Okay, his co-worker, the parents, gave his wife $100,000 as a gift for the first home. That's when I knew we were playing two different games. In the Asian American, well, not just Asian American, but in the Asian community, it is traditional for the parents to put a down payment on their children's house, their son and daughter, married or not. I was like, what? I sigh at my parents in disappointment. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's continue. You have to have a strong family background for this to work, generational wealth. And I agree with that. It's more, I mean, it's a mentality thing. It's how your family is. Do you even have a family? Just because you're blood related does not make you a family. You're not family just because you happen to be blood related, in my opinion. I mean, it's, it's a mentality. It's actual love for your family. It's actual bonds with each other, that type of thing. And not... I'm not saying that all families are perfect, but a lot of families just do not have this, especially in black America. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's because also the men are going around making like 15 babies with different random women. We don't know these women. There's no connection at all. Y'all, the family split up in different States and you don't hang out or the family, or they're just horrible people and they don't love you or like you and that's why the family looks the way it is okay it says a lot of the comments are blaming systemic failures on the failures of individuals the wealth gap um, is tied to chattel slavery trace it back and you will see where the money comes from marriage will help close the wealth gap and then you see black people covered in gucci and driving a Benz, but they don't have anything now that you have identified the problem, what is the solution? You know, they say that a lot of rappers actually don't always have as much as you see, that the jewelry is rented, the um, the cars are rented, and that would be a smart thing to do to save money. Also, getting free clothing from designers. We remember what, uh, what Left Eye said from TLC, how all the money that 
you are buying clothes for for award shows the, the companies didn't tell them well you have to pay it all back so it would be smart for somebody as an independent music artist i hope i'm not going too off subject to buy their own clothing and to save as much money as possible if you can you don't have to always be super flashy or you can buy designer stuff from the real real the real real which is a lower cost or consignment shops to save so someone said now that you have identified the problem Problem. What is the solution? Well, the solution is for, sorry if you hear some noise outside, the solution is not going to work for everyone. This is an individual thing. Um, if you if you don't have a family that's together, you can do this with very close friends. Maybe y'all can come up with something and help each other out as friends and you can see the change. You can see the change. I also believe you can su support black owned businesses as well. That is something also that can help. And also learning about credit and loans and so much stuff we don't always know about. Use TikTok, use tic YouTube to learn these things. And because it's hard sometimes, you have a lot of black people who feel like I'm not giving you no free game. I'm not gonna tell you how to do it. I had to struggle, why should I tell you? I don't know you like that and this and that. And you do have to be wary of people, but there are a number who are snooty and they don't wanna tell you anything. There was this lady on TikTok who talks about making the money and what she does for a business. So I know that marketing is everything for a business to be successful. You can have the greatest idea and the greatest business, but if nobody knows about your company, the marketing, it will fail. So I asked her, I said, so what do you do for marketing? How do you, how did you market your company to become successful? And she caught an attitude with me. Okay. She caught an attitude with me and then switched up the conversation and said something smart. Basically, I'm not here to give free game type of thing. And I'm like, but you promote all day, every day on your page, how you're making money. And now a black woman is asking you a question. How did you market yourself that helped you become successful? Oh, I'm not going to tell you that. See, this is the type of stuff you're dealing with. It's, uh, it's ridiculous to me. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. So Oh, that is basically it. That is basically it with the comments. And I greatly, 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 greatly love that you have watched this video. I want to know what do you think? Leave in the comment section below. What do you think about generational wealth? Do you have a family that is a broken family or a together family? And either way, do you think, could you go to your family and ask for $10,000 or $80,000 for a house? What are some tips that you know of, some financial tips that you can give us in the comment section when it comes to credit and trust funds and, and all types of programs? Let us know in the comment section what are some solutions to fix that problem. It doesn't have to be an extended family. It could be your immediate family. What are you going to do for your children? How are you going to, do you believe in passing down a home to your children or buying a trail or something for them? Do you put money aside for them to have a car when it's time to get a car, whether it be a used car or a new car? Does everything you have have to be designer? What are some, where are some places you shop to save money? What are some, some, some things you do to save money on anything, even food shopping? What are some things? you can tell us in the comment section that can help people especially black people do better financially give us all the tips and all the knowledge that you know in the comment section below so that is it for this video i thank you for joining me and uh, i really really can't wait to read your comments i hope you all have a wonderful day thank you so much for joining me you all take care make sure you hit the like button that affects the algorithm and click the bell for all notifications so you know when I'm live and when I'm uploading. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.